Okay, so in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to find the, the prime factors of any number. In this particular example, we're going to look at 336, um, and we're going to represent it as the product of its prime factors. The method we use to solve this problem is called the ladder method and sort of aptly named because you start off by drawing a diagram that sort of looks a little bit like a ladder and we don't know exactly how many levels or steps this ladder has but I'm just going to draw a few for now and the important thing just in terms of the method is to start with the number in question, the 336, and we place that at the top of the ladder on the right hand side. Left hand side doesn't really matter, just the convention is on the right hand side. So the question we're asking for prime factors, so that's a good starting point, is to actually look, and it's generally easier to start with the lowest possible prime number that you can think of, and hopefully you should have that knowledge by now, but the lowest prime number is 2, <clears throat> and we check, first of all, whether that the, the number we're looking at, 336, is divisible by 2. It is an even number, so it is going to be divisible by 2, and we're going to end up with, um, if we divide 336 by 2, we are going to have um, 160, let's just double check, uh, 168. Okay, I just did a little bit of short division in my head. Um, and then we apply the same process as before with the new number, and we try and divide it by the smallest possible prime. So once again, it's an even number, so it'll divide by 2. 168 divided by 2 is going to be 84. And again, 2, 84 divided by 2 is going to be 42. And 42 divided by 2 is going to be 21. And here's where we hit our first little glitch in the system because now 21, we can't divide 21 by 2 without getting a remainder. So we now move to the next smallest prime number, which is 3. And we check, we should look at the number 21, its digits 2 and 1 add up to 3. So we should know it's divisible by 3, and if we divide 21 by 3, we're left with 7. And then, now we check, 3 doesn't go into 7, I mean 7 divided by 3, there's a remainder. So we try the next prime number, 5, 5 will also have a remainder. So we have to actually use 7 itself, because 7 is a prime number, and 7 divided by 7 is going to leave us with an answer of 1. And we kind of know that our, our ladder method has worked properly when at the bottom on the right hand side you have the, the number 1 and on the left hand side if you look at all those different prime numbers if we multiply those because we've been dividing the whole way down so if we go reverse if we multiply we'll get back to the original number so we can now actually represent 336 as a product of its prime factors and I'll just write that out for you quickly so we can say uh, 336 is equal to, and now there are 4 2, so it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and it was times by 3 times 7. And generally, we want to try and keep things as tidy as possible in maths, and we do have exponential notation, so instead of writing all those 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 out in expanded form, we can just simplify that. That's 2 to the power of 4 times. 3 times 7. And you have now represented 336 as a product of its prime factors.